I met something that absolutely changed everything in my world, and that is about 10 years ago, I met Tracy, who had become my wife. And after I met Tracy, my world changed because now I could no longer as easily justify keeping my world separate. The very best thing in my life, I had to keep secret from other people. I could not share my family uh, with my coworkers, with the people that I worked with. I had to keep that part of my life separate. And the mental stress after I met Tracy just completely increased and, and it became too hard. I finally made a personal decision in 2009. I think at the time I had about 24 years of service and I decided that I was going to retire. I could not handle living these two lives. I could not handle keeping Tracy a secret anymore. It was just too much stress. And so I requested a retirement and my retirement orders were issued. And um, I, was, I was heartbroken because I love the Army. I love being a soldier. But the stress of keeping Tracy a secret at that time was simply too much for me. Not long after I came back from Afghanistan, I was in Afghanistan when no desk don't tell was finally revealed. I can tell you, I got up that morning and I knew that the world was going to be different that day. And I walked down the street and I hoped that I would just catch somebody's eye, you know, and that somebody else was having the same type of day that I was. And I tell you, I got nothing. <laughs> it was just another day in Afghanistan. We were due out doing our mission. It was just like any other day. And you know what? That was good. That's exactly how we expected it to be, and that was exactly as it should be. Nothing had changed for the military, though everything had changed for me. So I got notified of my selection for promotion just a few months uh, after repeal, and Tracy and I got married in March of 2012, and a couple of months later I was, I was notified of my selection for promotion. And we had to decide, as we had to decide together, is that um, how are we going to do this? Just being a general officer, of course, is a great deal of responsibility and, and your, your world changes. I mean, you have to be transparent with people. You have your staff that works around you. The pressure, the enormous, the op tempo, any of these, these uh, gentlemen in the press row can tell you about that. And uh, so we had to decide, were we going to continue to hide our lives or were we going to be out? And we decided a couple of things. One is that the job, there's just too much to the job to put the energy into living two lives at this particular point. There was no reason to. Don't know that the hotel had been repealed. There was no reason to do that. And frankly, I would have been disrespectful to Tracy had I continued to live that lie when I didn't have to. I would have disrespected my family to not be authentic in what we were entering into. And so um, with that, we decided that she would promote me. And was, was through that promotion and the just during the promotion where she, in her role, that they, they introduced her as who she exactly was, that was my coming out. So when people say, why did you come out? It had nothing to do with my orientation. It was an expression of my family. And just as Chairman Mullen taught me, is that however you comprise your family is your family. And that's okay, that is your support system. And so with that, with that promotion then, was in, in, in essence is, is how I came out publicly in this role. As, as a general officer. I really just enjoyed listening, and I, I thought it was very interesting hearing um, of Tammy's testimony and everything about like what she went through and all those years and everything that she had to essentially leave this, as she described, compartmentalized and dual life. Yeah. So it was very interesting to hear it like from, from that kind of perspective, because it wasn't necessarily something that you would think of from the, the heterosexual perspective and everything. So just to hear all the kinds of things that she went through kind of opened up to the, the different prejudices that a lot of these people like once like went through and everything. So yeah. and that it's better now. A pride celebration on military installation, it's a relatively new thing. And you here at Fort Hood are you absolutely kind of on a cutting edge of demonstrating what inclusion looks like. To fight and win our nation's wars, we must be able to access the full potential of our diverse force. Pride doesn't have anything to do with somebody's personal life. Pride's a celebration of authenticity. We celebrate pride because it, it, as the military, we are an organization that values its people. 
We celebrate prize because we value being a meritocracy, where everybody who works hard, leads from the front, and lives the Army values has an equal chance to be successful and to be rewarded with increased responsibility.